And then there is another concept that is important, which is the concept of volumetric strain. You know, look, volumetric strain refers to, it's something like, it's the counterpart in terms of volumes of what unit elongations is in terms of displacements, of, of, of uh, elongations, sorry. What, what is uh, uh, the, the unit elongation? You remember it was the increment of the length of a certain segment per unit of original length. Remember that? That would be called epsilon. Look, volumetric strain is a little the same. Is the increment of the volume associated to a particle <coughs> at a certain time minus the original one, so it's the increment of volumes per unit of original volume. So it's the same concept. It's in a scalar, by the way, because it has a scalar, but uh, refer to volumes. And that is a concept that is pretty, uh, frequently used in continuum mechanics. And it can be computed by using just formulas that we have derived so far. So, for instance, we know that this differential of Vt is the determinant of f times differential of V0, replace here. Now we can simplify by differential of V0, and we find that. The volumetric strain, the increment of volume per unit volume, is just the dif determinant of f minus 1. Okay? Now, imagine that I compute that at time t equals 0. What should be? the incrementum of volume per unit of volume when time is the reference time. What is the increment of volume? Zero. So that should be zero. Of course. What happens when at the reference configuration? F, F, at the reference configuration, the gradient of the formation tensor is the unity. So the determinant is one. One minus one is zero. That's, that's correct. So the volume strain, the volumetric strain at the reference configuration is always zero. And as the formation takes place, that volumetric strain increases or decreases. Okay? So that is the... By the way, there are certain, um, certain bodies that is quite interesting in, in solid mechanics and also in fluid mechanics that cannot compress, cannot be compressed. Well, look, compress, what does that mean? It can be compressed in terms of uh, producing some, some compressions. We can, they can change the volume. They can change the volume. But they can change the volume without... Uh, they can change the, ch the shape without losing volume. In engineering, there are a couple of materials that are, very, are called incompressible or quasi-incompressible. Typical one are elastomers. Elastomers, the one that we use in bridges, as a support, which are made of caoutchouc. These kind of materials are typically incompressible. A, is, 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 is typically, you can deform that, but you cannot, at least we apply huge forces, you cannot uh, decrease the volume of that. Okay? So these are incompressible solids. Okay? In what, what is characterized by these solids? The, the, these solids have this process that the, 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 the volumetric strain the volumetric strain, which is zero at the reference configuration, is also zero along the deformation. That's what characterizes an incompressible solid. Incompressive. So, compressive solid is characterized by the volumetric strain is zero or the terminal of F is one all along the deformation. Okay? And in fluids, another of our fluids as engineers is very important, which is water. Water, again, unlike gases, for instance, are very difficult to decrease the volume. We have to apply huge pressures to produce certain uh, loss of density of volume, of, 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 of water. So, in general, we'll consider that water is an incompressible material. Of course, it can change the shape, but the volume occupied associated to a particle is always the same, is always constant. And that represents, is, is also said, that the volumetric strain, we'll see that again, the volumetric strain for liquids, in general, is, in general, uh, considered zero. So they are considered incompressible. And they are characterized by volumetric strain zero or determinant of the grain of the formation tensor one. Okay?